I love these challenges. It adds so much new variety. This one, two, three, needed. You've got to be joking. I love these challenges. Tears of the Kingdom just released, and it seemingly has a ton of polish. This game is jam-packed with amazing new tools, gadgets, and different ways to play. A fully fleshed out world with everything in place, right out of the box on release day. But that's Nintendo's philosophy on Zelda. Nintendo's philosophy on multiplayer games feels like when you get off the toilet, wash your hands, and start doing something completely different, then you get hit with a sudden emergency rush to get back on the toilet, only to fart. A slow jump of content to seemingly try and keep the player base active for a long period of time. I'll say this. I think it's acceptable for certain aspects of certain games. You want to add more weapons, cosmetics, or even characters if you're looking at the Mario Sports franchise? Cool! Whatever! As long as the game isn't completely bland and terrible at launch. <laughs> These things are permanent fixtures to the game that anyone can access at any time at all once they're all released. Ah, oh, jeez. Does not liking this new style of a content release schedule mean I'm getting old? <laughs> Or do I just prefer games being finished on release? You bet your sweet baby I do. My little brain gets tickled just right when I unlock characters or cosmetics. I freaking love being rewarded for my exploration or commitment to a challenge. As a kid playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl, I would repeatedly delete my save file to unlock the characters over and over and over again. It feels so underwhelming when you just have to wait real life human time for new items or characters to come out. Oh, I get to play as Pauline now? I'm foaming at the mouth. I'm feral. So please calm me down. I'm so glad I waited two months after release for this. <laughs> Okay, I know it sounds like I'm hating, even though I just said I don't mind it that much. Let's get to the real thing that I'm frustrated with. Hey, what a cool game! Hey, remember when Salmon Run was a limited time event in Splatoon 2? I remembers. Oh, I remembers. Well, look at here! Salmon Run is here full time! <laughs> didn't we do good? No, you didn't. You did one good thing. And then you did a bunch of poopy doopies. You made some stinkies. While I appreciate being able to load up a salmon run game after a long hard day at the salmon factory packing salmon into cans for all the little kitties to eat, I don't appreciate the coolest new feature added in Splatoon 3 being limited to six hours total across two days. Who made this decision? Who made it? I need to look them dead red right in the eyes and ask them, um, what the heck? This is something that can be put directly into the lobby as a choice along with turf war anarchy mode and that. It really makes me question how they come up with these decisions. I don't think Splatoon 3 is a dead game. So the player base should be plentiful. This wouldn't divide the player base up terribly. Nintendo, please just make these challenges a full-time gig. Steal from Overwatch and make an arcade mode. It wouldn't need to be as extensive as theirs, but just these challenges that change every week or so. And they don't even all have to be bangers. Like on a random week, it'd just be like blasters only. And on another week, it'd be an all out advertised event. Where we do the too many trizookas challenge and blow each other to smithereens. These challenges are genuinely the most hype I've been for something in Splatoon 3 for a long time. I'm not a competitive player. I'm not really deeply connected to the lore either. I just like to be silly and do fun things in the game. If you can coordinate with a lobby, private battles are perfect to express some creativity. I just hate to see such a great idea being given such a limited spotlight. Allotting the time to only be two hour increments is just a terrible decision. And I really hope Nintendo's models for these types of things change, because I love these multiplayer experiences that they bring to the table. But oh my lord, please don't tease us with such great ideas and then slap us in the face with a terrible execution. That is all I have to say about that. Thanks for watching.